All right, guys, we're going to be going over late pays and how to handle them with agency elephants so that you can get this workload off of your staff and that you can make sure accounts get paid and you don't lose premium. Um, keeping business in your agency is five times less expensive than writing new business, so let's show you how to tackle that. Under your service pipeline, you should have a late pay status. If you don't have a late pay status, go ahead and add one by going to your settings page over here, your pipeline settings to do that. Very simple, very straightforward. You want to add an automation to that status, okay? In your drips and tools, you are going to have a drip campaign that is titled, guess what? Late play, right? So you want to use this drip. And let's go to the verbiage of it as opposed to the settings. Let's go back to late. You want to come over into this section here and review the verbiage. There is a reason why our settings are set this way, and there's a reason why there's two steps. One. The first one is to notify them that they're late, okay? Just want to let you know you missed your payment. Your account's in a pending cancellation status. Please jump online and make the payment to avoid a lapse or give us a call to do so. Tries to get them to not give you a call by jumping online, right? That's the first notification. The second notification goes out, sounds automated. It says you may have already made a payment, but we have a double security system to make sure it was done and your policy doesn't lapse. Did you make that payment? The second response is to get them to respond, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, let me go do it now. Now to tie this to your pipeline, all you're gonna do is come over to the settings area of your pipeline right here, and you're gonna go to your service pipeline, and you're going to go to the late pay under automation settings, and you're simply going to add one, their customer, obviously keep the group, and two, they're a late pay. Once you add those two, get out of there. You're good to go. Your automation is now set up for late pays. So view the verbiage, make sure it's acceptable. Every time you got a late pay, you can add them in manually if they're not in the system, or you can come into the client's profile and you can simply drop them right into that pipeline status to trigger that automation so that you don't have to start calling people and manually typing out emails or grabbing email templates to do that. Hope that helps save you and your office some time and keep some premium on the books.